So the other day, we pretty much went through Black Friday. Now what this basically is, and we went through Cyber Monday as well. Now what this basically is, is that random companies will do random deals and sales, and it's pretty cool, but I've never really seen too many iPhone deals in these types of situations. I've seen a couple of them from a lot of people. I, Apple actually did one this year, which was very, very interesting. If you bought an iPhone, you got a $50 gift card, right? But there was an iPhone that was just so significantly cheaper than I thought it was going to be sold for as of right now. And it just blows my mind. The iPhone 11, and I talked about this before, was $199 via Walmart and a couple of different places as well for a locked Straight Talk carrier. Now, I'm not too familiar with Straight Talk. I'm pretty sure there's a ways to unlock it or you still use it as an iPhone or whatever. But here's the craziest thing. The iPhone 11 was just being sold for $499, not even like three or four months ago, right before the iPhone 14s came out. So the fact that it went down, you know, that much in price tag to go down from basically 500 to 200 a $300 difference, that is absolutely crazy in this type of situation. Now, another thing on top of that is the fact that the iPhone 11 is still a very powerful iPhone. In fact, in the used market, this is the craziest thing, in the used market, this iPhone is selling for about $250 to about $290, right? How is this iPhone being sold for cheaper than that in the brand new market? Like, that's a brand new phone. The fact that we have that type of device at that type of price tag is so insane to me. So much so, in fact, that... I don't think we'll probably ever see another iPhone at that price tag at that caliber so soon going down in price like we've seen with the iPhone 11. I mean, I remember a few years ago, the iPhone SE first generation came out and I think about two years after that, I believe in 2018, we were able to go ahead and pretty much buy a iPhone SE in the used market for maybe about $100 and then the brand new market on Black Friday was pretty much the same price for like $100 and that was a really good deal. This is the first time I've seen in a very long time where a brand new iPhone was cheaper than a used iPhone. Now of course, you know, if we're talking about carriers, that was locked to, you know, straight talk. That's not necessarily the best carrier of all time in terms of, you know, the availability of it and most people probably don't use straight talk, but it, the hardware itself is the big thing. The fact that you're able to buy an iPhone like that is so insane. If you have that specific carrier, I'm sure you love it. That is a great iPhone to pick up. I mean, that thing has great build quality still, still very fast. The cameras on it are still very, very good as well. And I've talked about it a ton throughout the last few years too. And this iPhone just seems to be getting better and better. And now that it's kind of like not being sold by Apple anymore, it's still super cool to see how this thing is holding the test of time and how much better it's going to be getting for the next few years. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.